You are watching Independent TV 7, giving you the best uh, worldwide uh, report at its peak. Yes, uh, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Independent TV 7. You can also click the bell icon to get more notifications. Thank you. Yes, as we all know, we know that uh, today uh, is uh, Bola Ahmed Tenubu, uh, Tenubu's birthday, mm -hmm. about at 70. Uh, the headline which says uh, Tenubu reacts as uh, APC elects uh, its national S calls. The national leader and the presidential aspirant of all progressive uh, Congress, APC. Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu has reacted to the uh, just concluded national convention of the all progressive uh, Congress, APC, a party that took uh, place in Abuja where new executives uh, were elected for the leadership of the ruling uh, all progressive Congress uh, party, APC. Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu uh, took to his uh, official uh, Twitter and do to congratulate all the new members of the uh, executive who were elected to pardon uh, the Keno of the ruling all progressive Congress APC party in the country. Uh, below uh, is this uh, uh, word of uh, Tenubu on Twitter, Ashiwa Jibalame Tenubu's uh, message to all the winners and uh, 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 the, the winners of the just uh, concluded APC National uh, Convention held in Abuja on Saturday. Jibalame Tenubu uh, since I also congratulate all newly elected members of our new National Working Committee, uh, led by Senator Abdullah Yadamu, uh, be proud of your appointments, uh, but be also ready to work for you. You have much uh, work uh, to do. Uh, the APC Chieftain and Presidential Aspirant uh, called on the newly elected uh, members of the uh, Progressive Congress APC National Working Committee, led by uh, Senator Abdullah Yadamu, uh, to be proud of his job and of their uh, appointments, and at the same time, be ready to work, 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 uh, because uh, they have uh, much work uh, to do. Yes, uh, they must work, uh, mm, they must work, uh, because uh, they are meant uh, to serve uh, the, uh, the people, and uh, they are meant uh, to serve uh, the people. And as it is, uh, uh, Tinubu also uh, said, uh, I commend uh, Buhari and every working committee of the party um, that uh, he commend uh, them. And that is what it is. Uh, if Tinubu has commended, and also, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is one of the influential uh, politicians in Nigeria. Uh, if it is so, I think I believe uh, many people will agree with me that uh, Tinubu is the most uh, suitable and competent uh, candidate to represent uh, the Southwest, the upcoming election. And that is what it is. Uh, if Tinubu uh, definitely uh, has been said that he has a uh, prowess, uh, Tinubu is the suitable uh, and uh, competent candidate uh, to represent uh, the Southwest in the upcoming election. Uh, I would always say that uh, even the uh, king uh, makers uh, do not become king. Uh, budget on I would always say this thing. Uh, but in a nutshell, I would say yes, uh, if Tinubu has the uh, power and the powers, and also he has the leadership traits, uh, leadership traits, that's what I mean. Uh, that Tinubu, yes, uh, is the best uh, candidate ever uh, that APC would have produced. Uh, but what is Oshiba Joe's uh, stand? And what is the stake? Uh, if uh, Buhari has endorsed uh, Oshibajo, uh, who is endorsing Tinubu? Uh, because Tinubu has endorsed himself and it has been written in the book of uh, all Progressive Congress uh, in their portfolio that uh, Tinubu uh, would definitely come back and become uh, the president. Uh, that was the agreement they had. And uh, it is widely believed that Tinubu is contesting for the highest uh, political seat in Nigeria. That it's, it's, That is to say, that if he is aspiring for the post of a presidency under the ruling Progressive Congress and political party APC, then Netimubu has the prowess. And uh, I believe uh, there have never been anybody that is contending or would have contended with uh, Tinubu if Tinubu is not a kingmaker. But let's see, let's watch uh, and see. 2023 uh, is coming, is fast approaching. Like they will say, Yoruba Nation will say, ah, uh, no going back. Uh, there's going to be, there's not going to be election. Uh, Biafra uh, uh, on the other side, you know, wishing that uh, they have uh, their own republic, wishing they have uh, their own country. Though, as it is, uh, the man himself is yet to make an official announcement for his interest in becoming the president of uh, Nigeria come 2023. As many people assume that uh, the presidency should come to the southwest after the tenure of President Mohamed Buhari, though. Uh, from the inception of democracy, the zoning of presidency has not uh, been achieved. Southwest are agitating for presidency, and the Southeast also agitating 
for presidency for now only god knows uh, what will eventually happen in 2023 general election yes and that is what is only god knows uh, only god knows what is going to happen uh, from 2023 because uh, with all this uh, yeah only god knows uh, if the election is going to hold because the chief thing uh, and president has been called on the newly elected members and uh, uh, yes, uh, we have a newly elected member as a team who also be asked as APC elects a national schools. And now the APC chieftain and presidential aspirant called on the newly elected members of the APC National Working Committee led by Senator Abdullah to be proud of their work, uh, to be proud of their job. Uh, because as I said, the uh, Tinubu is the main uh, <laughs> candidate. And like they will say, uh, Tinubu. Uh, is the best candidate but <laughs> yes if you know is the best candidate then who is Osibajo uh, like I would always ask Osibajo who is Osibajo also would have been the best candidate Osibajo on the other hand is a professor uh, but I believe uh, Buhari is a king's uh, even if Buhari has elected uh, Osibajo has suggested or appointed uh, Osibajo or uh, trying to you know make Osibajo become the president he worked it mm, like someone would say hey, because Oshibajo is a pastor no it's not because he's a pastor mm, I believe uh, Oshibajo is a professor professor of law in that manner he is a senior advocate of Nigeria at EN and I believe uh, he knows uh, what it takes to become a leader uh, president 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 uh, Buari, I would say he's only representing the country Nigeria as uh, the president but he's not presiding over the affairs of the country. Rather, uh, the Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, uh, Minister of Justice, has been, you know, uh, you know, clamoring uh, for, you know, uh, himself. Rather, I would say President Mamadou Bari is only representing the country as the president, and while uh, Malami uh, is presiding over the affairs of the country. <laughs> then who uh, is ruling mm, don't let us be deceived governor Othon had always said that uh, he doesn't have any word uh, to share or to argue with uh, garo rashew uh, because garo rashew is uh, an appointed member likewise uh, the attorney general of the federation uh, because he's, he was appointed by by president uh, by saying yes uh, if you really want to test your popularity uh, it is not under appointment. Go and test your popularity uh, by, you know, uh, vote. Uh, because him is a democratically elected uh, governor. Same as uh, Buhari. So the presidency would always speak for Buhari. But thank God for God that Buhari uh, now, uh, he has not his left from his right. Or rather, his eyes are wide open, knowing fully well that, yes, 2023 is fast approaching if it does not you know, take its time. Uh, the issue of zoning, I don't believe uh, uh, is a problem. The problem is that issue of uh, religion, ethnicity, diversity, and every other thing you can mention that has made Nigeria uh, get to this level. Some will say, yes, how did we even get here uh, as a Nigerian? Uh, because uh, the contraption they call Nigeria is what it is today. And uh, nobody uh, would ever believe that we would get to this level, or rather, Nigeria will deteriorate to this level. So very many people are complaining that in this country, we need to have a plan B. And what are your plan B? And what are your thoughts? Because uh, the issue of Lekki massacre, violation of rights of the citizens, especially the youth, uh, is uh, on the high side. And that was why Joe Biden, uh, leading the United Nations, told Buhari, hmm, you need to go back to the joint border. Uh, because uh, the issue on ground, we have debt, so many debts to pay. In our next article, I'll be analyzing, you know, the debt we are paying right now and uh, what uh, is affecting us in Nigeria. Nigeria is a very good country. Since we adopted democracy from the uh, United States, uh, we have never, you know, for once, you know, say yes, uh, God bless Nigeria. Uh, because uh, the people who gave us, uh, uh, we adopted uh, uh, the democracy from they will say god bless america even in their motto in their slogan say in god we trust but we trust in chariots we say unity and peace and when you have not trusted in god enough uh, how do you get uh, unity and peace 
Uh, well, I would like you to share your comments in the comment section. Thanks for listening and God bless you. Pra.